Math 31, I had a question on section 2.7, number 33. So we're trying to figure out when is the absolute value of x minus 1 greater than 2. So what I did here was I used my purple graph to um, graph the absolute value. So this is graphed in purple. All right, so this is, or bluish purple, but it's y equals the absolute value of x minus 1. You can see here it's got a vertex at 1, 0, and then it makes that v. And then I used the orange line, or orange graph, to graph this line. So this one here is graphed in orange. All right, and so here is the line y equals 2. So we've got our absolute value function that looks like a v, and then we've got our horizontal line y equals 2. Now, I'm being asked to find when is the absolute value greater than 2. And graphically, that would mean where is this v higher than this horizontal line. And so if we take a look at it, everywhere in here, and I'll just highlight here, everywhere from here, right, Everywhere in that, that region, this, this V here is greater than this line here. So I want to include that. And then if you see on the right side of the graph, where I'm shading in yellow or highlighting in yellow, that's where that V is larger than that horizontal line. Now let me erase the horizontal line. All right, and then I'll go re-highlight this. Oops, excuse me. So basically everywhere in here and here, is where the graph of the absolute value is greater than the horizontal line. And what we need to do is we need to figure out what x-coordinates that go with. So we're going to kind of just match that down to the x-axis. And you say when x is greater than 3 or less than negative 1, right, that's when my absolute value function is going to be greater than 2. And let me give you a for instance. So let's just plug one of these in. Let's say I pick here, just for fun, x equals 7. Let's plug this in. If I was going to look at the absolute value of x minus 1, is it really greater than 2? I'll put a little question mark. Well, if we plug in 7, we would get 7 minus 1, right? 7 minus 1 is 6. The absolute value of 6 is 6, and that is greater than 2. So you see that working. Let me pick a number on this in this interval, like negative 9. Well, let's see if that works. What's the absolute value of negative 9 minus 1? Well, that's equal to the absolute value of negative 10 which is equal to 10, which is also greater than 2. Let me show, show you something failing, all right? Because it's also good to see something not work. Let's try it in pink. Let's pick something like x equaling 1 here, because you can see that's not in my highlighted interval. Well, let's try that. If I plug in x equaling 1, we have 1 minus 1, right? That's the absolute value of 0. That's 0. That is not greater than 2, right? That's not true. That's why I don't want to include that in my answer. So when we go to write this up, I'm basically trying to say I want everything in this interval and this interval. And we always go low to high. So you see my little arrow here that's going to turn into a negative infinity. And we're going to go to negative 1. There's an open dot, so I'm going to use a parentheses. Then I start up at 3 again, and I go all the way over to infinity. And that's where I'm getting this answer here. So as long as your x value is between negative infinity and negative 1, or it's between 3 and infinity, when you plug that x value, so you can't see that, into this inequality, it, absolute value inequality, it will be greater than 2. All right, thanks so much, guys. Bye.